Okay, talking about inspiration. Uh, personally, for me, you are one of the women that inspire me. One of the women that inspires me. Do you have a woman inspirator? Do you have a woman that inspires you? Or maybe it's a man, but since we are talking about women, I would prefer you to give us maybe some women that inspire you or if you don't want to talk about women, what inspires you or who inspires you? Yeah, you know, I, I learned from um, different range of people, not, not, just, not just women, uh, but, but since we have a woman, since we are talking about women and there are great women in history, you know, that did, uh, that did a lot of it, uh, a lot of feet. I may not remember their names, right. yeah, but like in the uh, slave history of America, uh, I mean, there is a black woman. Uh, I, I can't remember Rose her name. Park. But I think she's Rose Park. Rose uh, not Rose Park. She oh, was okay. the one that uh, Rose Park is. Yeah, that yeah. they refused to Since give her a place. Yeah. No. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, uh, we can take her also. Okay. I mean, she she went against the tide. You know, she wasn't afraid. Mm. Uh, so. We shouldn't be afraid. We should go in the direction of our fear, and we shouldn't run away from our fear. You know, uh, uh, I heard something that when you see a lion, and if you walk towards the lion, the lion will just walk past you. You know, I mean, that's an and revelation and inspiration wow. for me. That when you walk towards the lion, the lion will just walk past you. But if you start running away from the lion, then the lion will start running after you, and of course it will it will it will harm you, it will kill you. Yeah. So uh, that's that's how we should treat our fear. You know, we should walk in the direction of that fear, and the closer we get to it, and when we walk past it, we find that this thing is not as frightful wow. as I thought. Wow. But when we start to walk away from it, it starts to build up, and it becomes even more bigger than we. Thought right. about it, so that's one thing. And there's uh, a, a, another woman that I think she herself was a slave, a black woman. She herself was a slave, and when she gained freedom, she helped a lot of slaves to escape. Okay. You know, she helped a lot of escape, uh, slaves to escape, and I learned from that because um, sometimes when we get through an ordeal we just want to rest mm. you know we just want to rest and we don't think about other people who are still in the same mm. ordeal mm. that we went through wow. you know so this this woman she, i mean she she got freed herself and immediately i mean she couldn't find rest she couldn't find peace and mm. she started you know uh helping uh, other people uh to to to, to get free uh uh, another a, a, a younger woman would be uh, Melody Hobson. She's also an American. She's a president of an investment company. And what I like about her is that uh, uh, she uh, she's very brilliant, and she she meets. She's a black lady, but she mixes with white people. Uh, even her husband is a white man. I mean, that's not a big deal. But what I'm trying to say is that, and she talks about being color brave. Mm -hmm. You know, not just color blind, but color brave. She understands the differences between the race. The, the races, mm -hmm. you know, and instead of us pulling apart and say I'm black and white, mm -hmm. why not mix together? Mm -hmm. And th it's the same thing in our world. If you want to be successful, you can't just be successful to one race. Right. You can't be successful to a black race or to a white race. If you're successful, you should be successful. I mean, it should be an all-round mm -hmm. success, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, white people should be able to um, receive inspiration from you, yellow, black, you know, because we are we are all in the race together. We are, we are all going somewhere together. So it's very important to embrace. So I would call her an embracer of the world, you know, mm -hmm. to embrace the world. And she also teaches on uh, uh, financial intelligence, mm -hmm. and which is very important for women because a lot of women are in slavery just because they are not uh, empowered financially. A lot of women are in abusive relationships because they don't know 
uh, what to do without the men, or they are used to the treats they get from the men. But when the woman becomes empowered, when she can make her money, when she can make enough money, right. uh, then she allows less abuse right. or no abuse uh, from the men. So, I mean, women, I mean, know that there is no history that has been formed without women, you know. Mm. They may ignore the woman, but women are always part of, of, of history. Right. And for example, I'm from Nigeria, I'm from the tribe of Yoruba. And when you study the, the history of uh, Yoruba, you always have women's leaders uh, by the side of the men, mm. you know, you always have women stood up by the side of the men. Yeah, maybe the men gets the glory, but you always know that there's a woman, you know, and that the woman she always she leads the woman community. Mm. You know, she inspires the, the woman community. So there is no history, there is no success in any age, in any generation without the woman. And even to me now, it's a woman's world. Mm. Um, a lot of women are taking over the jobs that men used to dominate before. Right. And the time we are living in, women ask more than the men ask. Right. So more and more women are taking top positions. Uh, more and more women are being preferred. More and more women are going to college. It's right. a, the statistics now is that you have more girls, more women in, uh, in universities, in colleges than men. Yeah, so uh, it's it's a woman world. So uh, we we have to, to we have to be prepared for it.